go people, how's it going? Um, thought I'd do an updated um, review now that I've had the um, Moto uh, bike carrier for a while. Um, a few little tips and ideas and stuff and little cool things um, about this. So I'll just go through, um, I'll load the bike up and I'll show you a couple of things. Um, this on uh, 2009 Prado. So um, I'll start the bike up, uh, load the bike up on here and then I'll go through a few things with you. So first cool little thing I'll show you here um, is with the spare wheel on the Prado. So the cool thing with this is the um, the fairing and the radiator and that hits the um, the spare tire on the back and it actually causes the handlebar to clear the rear window so there's no risk of the handlebar going through the back window uh, and the bike just sits there while you get your um, your tie down trap straps and that um, sorted so um, we'll go ahead and lock the bike down So um, one of the little issues that I've come across with um, the 450 is the, um, the ramp at the back here. Uh, when the bike's actually in place, it actually pinches, um, pinches on the loop that holds the ramp in place. I'll just show you that. So when you actually have it up on the, the top loop up here where it's supposed to go, um, you can't actually lift it out because the, the tire actually pinches down on the ramp you actually have to lift the lift the bike up to get it out so you can actually sit it on this um, you can actually sit it on the um, the lip down the bottom here uh, the only thing you face with that is that it's um, nowhere near as stable as what it is on the actual round loop it's designed to go on um, but it is an option um, to do that so yeah so just bear that in mind you can see see how the the wheel really pinches down on that and that locks the ramp in place so it just makes it a little bit difficult to get out but that's a a minor minor little detail that so pretty much once you um once you lock these turnbuckles in um the bike is fairly well secure in there um so i've actually with the tie downs, when I use these, I actually don't use the um, I don't use a wheel chock anymore because I don't pull um, pull a lot of pressure down on the actual uh, forks themselves. I basically just um, pull it down tight enough just to um, just as a backup. Mainly, if something happens to the turnbuckles, um, if they happen to fail or something, then the um, these front tie down straps are in place and actually still hold the still hold the bike in place so yeah not tight at all. But the bike's the bike's not gonna go anywhere with those turnbuckles tightened down. Um, yeah so that's a little time saver there little short and tie down strap just to hold that back wheel in where it's supposed to be. Turn that off there. On this vehicle all the um, the lights and the number plate are all obscured by the by the bike. So um, you need to get yourself either a uh, you can get a full set a third full size number plate or you can get these little accessory plates. I think I um, ordered that through PPQ and it cost about 38 bucks um, posted out so they're really cool nice and small out of the road um, so a lot of people have um, commented about um, these racks not coming with lights so you know I opted for some good quality LEDs hardwired to the um, to the rack but a few people I've spoken to and um, comments that I've seen here and there um, 
So a few people that I've spoken to on that and comments that I've seen, um, people have said that you can just get a cheap uh, boat light board um, and just actually put the light board, you can either fix it to the bike or you can fix it um, to the rack itself. But you know, how good an idea is that? Um, second hand, um, you know, boat board, light board, or even to make one, a cheap set of lights, bit of timber, bit of wire, and a plug, job done. So, yeah, there's a few little tips and stuff for you. Um, yeah, feel free to um, comment if you've got any questions or anything. Um, I did a just under 4,000 kilometre round trip with the rack up to um, far north Queensland when I raced uh, Moss Maniacs. Um, and this rack didn't miss a beat, the bike, um, the bike barely moved. I didn't have to um, readjust the anti-tilt. Um, the anti-tilt stayed tight. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I can really highly recommend the Moto rack as a um, affordable option to get your bike around if you don't have a ute or, um, yeah, just as an option anyway. So. Um, yeah, just thought I'd give you an update on where things were at um, and my thoughts around the Moto. So hopefully it'll help somebody out. Um, but yeah, I love it. So take it easy, guys.